I'd see, this is where okay. I'm ignorant. Okay. What do you mean by this is, divinely yeah. okay. inspired? Okay. Jesus establishes the church. Okay. He said he gives the Holy Spirit to the church to teach authoritatively on faith and morals. So it's Jesus. Where where is the evidence for this? Because if every time you make a remember, I said to, yeah. earlier, I said the gospel known as Saint Matthew's Gospel testifies that Jesus establishes a church. We have other is it, writings. Is it the one you have in your hand? Yes. Okay. Can you show me the verse? Okay. You're not familiar with it then? No, no. Tell, tell, okay. Tell, tell me the verse. Okay. I'll read it and then I'll carry on. Uh, Matthew 16. Wait, let me get, let me get up. Okay. Like to read. Matthew. Chapter 16. Yeah. Take verse, verse 18. Let me get the NIV. Okay. Okay, because we have to read what is prior to 18 and what is after 18. You do that while I get a handkerchief out because I've got a cold. Then you can see whether it's in context or not, eh? What's the point of the argument? Oh, we'd have to get, you'd have to be here, you know, it really is rambled on. <laughs> hold on, man, hold on. What we're doing is, I'm, ex I'm saying that, the, that we can know that the Bible documents are authentic on the authority of the Catholic Church which Jesus established because the Catholic Church is endowed with supernatural authority to let us know what is authentically scripture and what is not. My friend asked me for a verse to show Jesus established. Okay, God, men on their own cannot know what the truth is in religion. They need God to tell them. God will use the instruments. It might be a prophet. What do you mean by God? What do I mean by God? Now you're getting deep into it beyond where we are. We kind of have, we've not started from God. We're already taking God as a given. God is the creator of all things. Now, stop there, because you're then going, you're going to go into the, the issues about God himself, and we will then be totally off our points. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that's the main issue. There is no proof. It's, a, it's one issue. Now, if this man looking at you now feels that a strong desire to engage you, we'll be lost because we'll be off our points. So I will, I will leave your profound statements in midair. I'll leave it in midair so we don't that's lose our thread. A okay. yeah. Yeah. Attempting one, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay, so shall I start Matthew with 17? Go on, yeah. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades. Now, there's alarm bells ringing in my ears, and I'll tell you why. When, it, when he uses this, ver this word, Hades, you're assuming that the, the, the author is assuming that Jesus was familiar with Greek mythology. That's number one. And number two, um, based on what you said to me earlier on, you said that the church itself has, it has been given the authority. And Jesus gave that authority to the church. And you're saying, based on the little knowledge that I have, Peter, it was the first uh, uh, pope, and that the church were, came from, obviously, Jesus Tell him, Peter, you will be the head of the church, and subsequently, popes came straight after Peter. You've got that's the understanding. The, the, yeah, You've got that's the, understanding. the knowledge, the little knowledge that I have. But based on this verse itself, there's nothing concrete. How can you use this verse to justify the whole belief that Jesus is God based on this verse? I never did, did I? I said. No, no, no. What I said, remember we went to this verse because yeah. you wanted to know what on earth am I saying yeah. as a basis for believing the church but the, is established the, by Jesus. But, but That's just that point for now. Yeah, no, the no, other no. stuff we can go on to. No, but, but this is the sort of, um, the most, this is the foundation of why you believe Jesus is God. I'll no, it is not. It has to be. It can't be anything else because as Protestants, Protestants will say to you that the Bible itself is inspired. Men have brought the, the Bible and mm. it was inspired. Mm. And those who were inspired were inspired by God himself, mm. which means that whatever is written in there is 
100% from God, which means that if they if it says that Jesus is God, Jesus is God. Mm. But Catholics don't take that that, that, mm. that argument. They will not say, for example, that those who wrote the Bible were inspired. You say that it was the church itself. Now, when we look at the church, who gives authority to the church to decide what the doctrines are? You're saying Matthew in this verse here. Now, this verse here, for you to claim that this verse is the foundation of or, 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 or the, 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 the weapon for the for the let's say I was to argue with the church and say to the church say to the church you have no authority is this the main argument that they're going to use against me it's not the only one there are other verses in scripture which testify to the authority of the church okay. you see we, so so we get what we what we're doing here with yeah. these texts is yeah. saying yeah. here's just a bunch of first century texts yeah. They witness yeah. to a church being in existence and the writer of those texts and the Christian communities believing that the church was established by Jesus himself. That shows where the church derives its authority from. And, the, that, and that authority tells us, if, that authority gives us confidence in when it teaches that we can know its statements are true. If it teaches about Jesus, his nature, then we know that's true because it's the church that's teaching it. But this and that, tell that us. one verse, this verse tell us. that verse testifies to the church being established by Jesus. How? It's one testimony. How? How? Because there he says, I will build my church on you, Peter. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will, I build, will build my church. My church. Stop. And the, wait, wait, no, no, but we have to finish it. And the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Now, can you explain that to me? The gates yes. of Hades. This that's means... Greek, that's Greek mythology of the underworld. No problem. Okay. Now, now the, the point about this is, the gates of Hades will not prevail, means that the Catholic Church will never be destroyed, and, the, and Satan's world, world will never overcome it. So when it teaches, it will always teach the absolute truth never teach error.